And this is the last of the Smoke Free International. New Zealand versus Japan. New Zealand lead this series 2-0. They want to make a clean sweep. They've made hard work of it so far. Yamasaki getting the better of Pokai. Won't roll down. Oh, he's gone down on an ankle. Well, there was a great collision there. We may see it again. We may not. But Pokai here is coming over to Young. There he is now. I think he's saying, are you are? Well, I thought he was going to be very gentlemanly. And I think Peter said, get out of my way, buddy. <laughs> yeah, Pete wasn't too happy about that. Yeah, this is, yeah, look. They're they, always still on Pete's foot. Yeah, well. Yeah. That's one way to hold a player down. Yeah. A mutual collision there, and this game is getting tough. Yamasaki yeah, weighs 105 kilos, Peter Pokai 110, but there's three inches difference in height. There he is, he's trying to go on Peter again. Pokai chesting him up, he's stolen Glenn Denham. Baitoe in the foot, shot's blocked, and Ken Coulson's in a bit of trouble under the hoop, trying to keep his feet. Well. Plenty of action around the hoop. Yeah, and you know, uh, I think that both Ken Colson and John Burton are doing an excellent job tonight, Terry, and I say that because there's a lot of bumping and shoving going on, but they're letting play continue. Here's Byron Vitoy getting hammered. You can't let that continue. Koyama there, number 11 on your screen. The foul court. And there's Byron drilling the first. It is 60-59. He puts the Kiwis back in front. I like it. They haven't led since 35-36. First one went, the second one wouldn't go. Yeah, Suda with the ball. Gonna slow the pace down on offense. Well, is this the best game of the Smoke Free International Series? Well, against it's Japan? Certainly far more exciting than the Thursday nights. Darren Shore get the little free with the elbow. Yeah, strong rebound from Darren. I liked it. Byron on oh, the play. Oh, yes! Hoop. Yeah! That shot. Uh, it's it, not the quality of the best Kiwi basketballer we've seen for I a while. On a shot like that, no argument. 62 to 59. New Zealand back in front by three with 11 minutes and 12 seconds to play. Things are looking better. Look at that. Sword on the replay. Some quality stuff there from Byron Votoe. We'll be needing far more of that on Tuesday and Wednesday night. No go. Darren Shaw, another tough rebound in good position. Byron Votoe on the break. On the break. Shaw filling the line. Glenn Denham. Yes. Oh, Glenn from outside. Yeah. Well, there's a bit of pushing and shoving under the hoop there. Well, and show no mercy from the Kiwis. It's getting strong and tough, and, uh, you know, that's what I'm saying about the officials. I think they're letting it play fairly, they're, and I, I like it. There's a good shot there. Yeah, that's from Yasuda. Yasuda, yeah, three-pointer. from the corner. Three-point ball game. Wow. Foot Brown's down courtside. He's probably got a much better view of that uh, action under the hoop than we have. What are you seeing down there, Clint? Well, as you can see, Tom and Terry, it is becoming a little bit more physical than the first half. The details about Tushimura, the uh, Japanese number eight, who's actually off at the moment. He's actually had his front tooth pushed in. Nothing is broken. Not, no problems with the jaw. I'm not sure if he's going to come back into the ball game, but uh, it's a dental problem with his front tooth being pushed back in. There he is. Okay. You know, basketball can be hard on the teeth, huh? That's how I lost mine. Yeah. yeah. Front two are gone from, from playing hoops. Yeah. Story, yeah. Ralph Adams has got a loose one after making contact with uh, an elbow of um, Carl Langston's at one of our training okay. sessions. Yeah. Uh, it surprises me why players don't wear mouth guards. Yeah. Hello? Yeah, no kidding. Byron Vitoi there makes it 67-61. I, I only had to have a sizable dental job done on one of mine. It wasn't a result of basketball to make me put a mouth guard in. And I well, wear what, it. well, what was it? What was it? <laughs> it was just bad care of my oh, all too, right. too many sugars. <laughs> too, many, too much chocolate, huh? Here we go. New Zealand looking better. Yeah! yeah. Yasuda for three! But Japan Closes drops. up to a three-point ball game. 67-64. Michael Herring's back in the ball game. That's your lockout with the ball now. The Otago Nugget. 
Oh, loose ball. Got out of well. bounds. Goto chasing it into the hospitality suites. We've got Otago and New Plymouth on the floor here. In effect, you and Lockhart can't drop it. Glenn Dinham, Michael Huring, and you and Lockhart from Otago, Byron Baitoi, Darren Shaw from New Plymouth. There we go. Oh, look at that. You and Lockhart have to push for a screen. Shimamura set a good pick. I tell you, Japan had played like this on Tuesday night. This could have been a, a series that was going to be decided here tonight. Well, they're playing a ripper tonight, and it's it's tough all the way. You and Lockhart with the ball. Let's hope the Kiwis can do something right here now. They don't want to get too cold right now. This is good for the Kiwis, though, I think. Here's Michael Hurry. Oh, yes. oh. Take that one. We'll like it. Big baseline jam from Michael Hurry. See that coming. The lane was free. Here Look we at go. That. There it goes. Rama Jammer. Toyama at the other end, not hurrying over. And Yamasaki's put it down. Still a three point ball game. Hey, Toei, nice move. Pulls up for the first oh, one. Oh, and take a three game sweep. Let's just get away from this one for a minute. I want to know who you're going up with. Who you're this afterwards and look right down here now. Two foul shots missed. I like it. Michael Hurring looking for it inside. Here we go. Warwick Mill can't get it away. Yes, strong move by Hurring. Can't go. Gets his own board inside. Yes, big play, Michael. Well, good play, man. Is bottom right hand screen the clock ticks down it gets to the last minute it'll show well, tenths of seconds suddenly got a little crowd response here now calling for defense and that's exactly it goto no good own rebound goto yeah two point ball game 77 75 125 a minute 25 seconds left to play can the kiwis hold on Japanese supporters calling for defense. Michael Hurry pleading for the ball, and they don't, can't get it inside to him. Oh, right. oh. <laughs> oh, yes! Look at that. Can you believe it? The ice Mark, man. Mark with Denise him. is calling for a D. D. Wallace, our statistician, and she's as cool as a cucumber on Warwick three-pointer. Now, the ice man hits it with a minute left, and that gives us a five-point lead. And I would say if we can get the ball right there, Glenn Denham, I'd say yeah, it's over. Uh, We've got the ball game. Go. It's looking good. 42 seconds. Still can be turned around, but let's see how cool they can be. Holding foul called on Toyama. What have we got here? Timeout to Japan. Yeah. Well. 28 seconds. New Zealand don't have to worry about the shot clock. Twenty-four seconds to go, you can see there. The New Zealand don't have to worry about taking the shot. The clock's been stopped and a foul's been called. So they'll go to the line, Chris Simpson. Eighty seventy-five in favor of New Zealand. Looking to take a 3-0 sweep. I think it, this game shows a lot of fortitude there. They, these guys were behind and playing awful, awful basketball, and they came out the second half much more determined and got it together and came from behind to win it. And uh, I think that's a great morale booster. Yeah, for them. sure, but I won't, I'm not going to take anything away from the courage and determination that a, 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 a smaller, in terms of physical Japan side of, you know, India tonight. I mean, they've, they've really gone at it hard, haven't they? Played well, and as I say, certainly faster and quicker and more effective on defense in the Kiwis, Simpson. although Whoa. right here at the end, uh, New Zealand getting the better of them. Just looking to get an early drink. They got to have a quick three-point shot here to even have a ch have a chance. There it goes. One no. go. Hurrying off his foot out of bounds. 14 seconds to go. 82-75. Well, a good win for Keith Mayer and Murray McMahon and the boys. Congratulations. Goto for three. No good. Who's that? Denham's got it.
Bucks running out. There it is. Won't count from Chris Simpson. 82-75. Win to New Zealand by seven in match three of the smoke-free international series against Japan. Tommy Hyde. Well, I think the thing that turned it around, Terry, for New Zealand in the second half was getting more focused. And I think staying with the inside game, and, I will, and we know one or two players in there. Well, let's note three players. First of all, Byron Vitoi. I think he was outstanding in leading that comeback attack. Secondly, Michael Herring was dominating towards the end of the game, just like he did in the first game. And then finally, I think both Glenn Denham and Darren Shaw were both effective in getting key rebounds and setting breaks and getting things going again. And uh, I just think that the second half of the New Zealanders was a marvelous display of comeback basketball, great fortitude and courage. And I hope it inspires them to go against Australia with everything they've got and give it their best shot. Oceania qualifying series, Tommy's talking about New Zealand against Australia. Summarizing some of the statistics from the game. 82-75 for the winners, 82 points, 25 of them to Michael Hurry, 23 of them to Byron by Tom, leading rebounders, 10 to Michael Hurry, 7 to Glenn Denham, 5 to Peter Pokai. For Japan, 12 to Goto, that's Toshihiro Goto, 11 points each to Hairaki Toyama and Akafumi Yamasaki, 11 each and 10 to Yasuke. For more great sports action, be sure to catch Sport on Sunday at midday. And at 2.30 on Monday, the long-awaited soccer international between New Zealand and Gary Lineker's English side.